Hello, hello, and welcome to February 25th. The Alphas put two points on the scoreboard with RCL exiting at 201%. There's the numbers. Okay, we got into this trade at 420, and we got out of this trade at RCL at 1265, right there. 1265 was our out, 420 are in, picked up $480, $845 for one contract. One contract. Imagine 10 contracts have been over $8,000. One contract, two dollars for the fees, minus the eight forty-three, eight forty-three against nineteen sixty-eight for the O with a new O now of eleven twenty-five. Right there, eleven twenty-five for the new O. Well done, RCL. And remember, <laughs> this is the funniest thing. I mean, I know I laugh and cough at the same time because I, <laughs> when it happens, it's like. Where are these ships sailing to? I don't care. The stock went up. I got my. I I, I reduced the rock to a to a smaller pebble, and we're on our way to getting this baby moving on to the winner circle. With that said, though, we had another exit at American Express. American Express talk taken out also today. And there it is, American Express. We got in down here at this low point right in this area here, and. We got up to about 192%, I believe was yesterday's numbers. And um, there we are. We're out. We got our last bar low out here. And uh, we got in. We got out here with, uh, let me get this on the screen a little bit better. I'm trying to get uh, to keep it all on the screen. Okay. So uh, we got in at 447. We got out at 1115. Producing 668 for the profit from one contract. 668 minus two dollars a fee came up to 666 minus 1879 on the on the ode, which was the, of the rock, and the new ode now is 1213. Low done, American Express. Now, also a point to come out yesterday. This closed at no, not it was not American Express. It was RCL. I want to back up to RCL just a little bit, and here's why. Yesterday, this was a 283% right there. 283%. We got taken out here. We got taken out here in the last bar low. A discussion has arisen. This is why are we going last bar low if we're looking at 200 ROI? Well, it's another situation of the chicken and the egg again, guys. Yeah. And here's why. Um, I had a trade on save last spring, and it went to 500 ROI, got out around 300 and something on last bar high because it was a put. The point comes down is, yes, I could have put the call here and say, okay, you know what? 200 ROI on the up. Uh, there's profit takers sitting up here somewhere. Uh, let's look at the numbers. Uh, $64. Remember our, their portfolio rules? $64 times a 20% gain, 7, 6, 70, 70, 6, 80, 80, 80. They, they should have been getting out right around here somewhere, but they didn't. They continue on with this rule. Whatever, whatever was pushing this got it and then hit their exit target of the 99.24 and then got out. If we had put our, we had two, we have, we, we can, issue, there is two additional rules. I mean, I know that all the rules are not presented all at one time because it's overwhelming. You, it, it's, it's like trying to learn every gizmo uh, on a device the first day out. No, you learn little by little and you apply what you need as you go along. So we haven't run into a 280 ROI in a long time, not even in the earlier, earlier challenges of, the, of late 2020. So 280% here could have initiated one of two rules. Rule number one would have been enter the order and it says any price above this high. Let's go ahead and bring that. Let's go and bring that screen down so we can see it. Oh, we can get rid of this now. So right here, look at the high. And first, I'm going to bring it right next to it. So here's the high. 97.08 yesterday. We could have gone and put an order and say, you know what? Anything over $97, take me out. So if the market opened today at 99, 
virtually a dollar twenty. Yeah, ninety. Yeah, oh, well, actually, it's more two, two, uh, two twenty. The bottom line is, we could have it would have been taken out here, and would it would have gave us a, back a pretty penny. Or we you say if price drops below ninety seven dollars, take me out. So the price would have opened here and got out on one rule, get me out on the high, or get me out if price drops below the high. So those are other additional rules, and we're going to be looking at that very seriously going forward. Why? Is because the reason is that we're going to be running into these situations on and off, not all the time, but when they happen and you're ready for it, we'll be able to take advantage of it. So uh, 200 ROI, 225, 250, you have to decide where you're going to go ahead and pull the plug and say, hey, but take, but the order ticket would go and say greater than 97 or less than 97 taken off the, taken off the high or the close. The close here was 90, 96, 90, 96, 66. So you would have to make a decision where myself, I probably going to be very much leaning to that 200 RI. All right. With that said, let's go on and move on because we got a lot to cover. Uh, we did have some exits on ours on XLV, which was a loser. It got in the day trade. You see, I got hit with a day trade penalty today. I'm in the penalty box for one. And uh, the reason was because it was too tight. Oh uh, yeah, that was it was too tight. Let's go to XLV just real quick and, and review what the mistake was. The mistake was very simple. I did an aggressive trade. I did it off the top of this body. That's being aggressive. What I technically should have done is gone for the top of the body. Why? Because this is wider than the ATR. The ATR was 144. This was less than the ATR. So you really want to have more than an ATR spread between one of the two. And so right there, right there would have been would have ideal. And then, of course, we would not have even taken the trade. But reality, history, it happened. And we are here. And we have now a small loss of $83 on XLV number two which was playing for Mylan, which owes 585 The new loss, the $83, actually goes now to L XLV3. So uh, that's what's that. So now let's go on to Bank of America. At Bank of America, we have we have a last bar low situation. We have a we we have a last bar low situation. We are over 100 ROI. We had 120 today. We were over uh, we were a lot higher yesterday. So we are going to, and remember, once the rules initiated, you go with that rule. Don't go ch changing rules back and forth. That's also going to hurt. So we are last bar low here, and we'll just take whatever money is here on Bank of America to reduce this owed slightly more. Uh, now taking us down to Bitshire Hathaway. As I said, if we don't do this, the Shire won't exist. Oh, there we are. Oops, see. Oh, there we are. And this is a high-low high. Why? Because we're still under 100 ROI. So we're going to be sticking with the high-low high here on Bitshire and uh, see if we can get out a nice profit on this. I wish that bubble can be moved out of the way. It's such in the middle of the screen. Anyway, uh, going on now to our next XLC is a put. And this is kind of nice. It's going in a nice down direction. Uh, it owes well, one, only 148 and we're at $65. So we're going to work on that. And then we have Capri, and Capri here is Capri is just bobbling along, and but it's holding at ten percent. And that is really the conclusion of today's report for losers become winners, with RCL exiting at two hundred and one percent, and also American Express giving two points to the alphas. At alphas are now at fifteen, Tigers at zero. And with that, we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye bye.